The first one is items hanging from the rear view mirror. It's an easy one to fail on and it's one of the easiest ones to rectify yourselves. Um, air freshers are not too bad, they can be removed. But anything tied up um, around there, that's normally a fail because people don't want to remove them just in case they damage your windscreen. The second one is your washers and wipers. You want your washers to be spraying on towards the middle of the windscreen and your wipers clearing effectively uh, so you're not looking for any smearing or anything like that. And you also you don't want anything stuck within the swept area of the wipers. The third one is your seat belts. With the seat belts you want to click them in to make sure they click into the receiver. Also, uh, as you can see here, you pull the, you check all the web in, you pull the wiper, uh, the seat belt all the way out, uh, checking the web in both sides, mm. checking for any fraying, any cuts or anything like that in the uh, in the seat belt itself, and then you uh, pull on the seat belt and make sure it disconnects fine, um, and that's it. You'd be surprised the amount that fails on. Fourth one is tyres. Uh, when checking tyres over, start with your valve and check the condition, looking for any big splits or anything like that. Then check all your road wheel fixings to make sure they're all in uh, all in place. And then check the sidewall of the tyre, you're looking for any big deep cuts or any bulges or anything like that in the tyre. Then, I know it's hard but if you can turn the wheel pointing outwards, obviously it's easier with the fronts. Um, get some driving forwards or something. You're checking for any um, cuts again in the tyre, any nails, anything like that. A nail would only be advisory, but if it's uh, got any deep cuts down the cords or anything like that, that would be a fail. In the centre of your tyres, you've got your wear bars or wear indicators, as shown on the picture. Um, these are normally measured around 2mm, so you basically you want your tyres above these uh, before taking them for MOT or basically before taking them on the road. Um, obviously the legal limit is 1.6 but trying to try and get them above these just uh, for your benefit. Number five is getting someone to help you with the lights and running through the front and rear lights uh, that's all of them your uh, fog lights side lights dip lights as many as you can it's quite an easy one to fix yourself but it can be a, uh, a quite a big failure thanks all side lights Dip, flash, okay, indicate, and the other side, great, thank you, side lights, brake lights, indicate, other side, reverse, and the fog lights. Lovely.